little bit of structure. Oh, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Nice red, right off that reef. He wanted a key. Oh, he came all the way out the water. Come on. Come on. Welcome back everybody, Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. I just finished loading up the kayak and I am heading out to Galveston, West Bay. Let me do a little kayak fishing this morning. You know, we have a little bit of fog in the area, but as the fog lifts, it should, hopefully it's going to be a, a, a good day. We have a little bit of wind that's going to kick up in the afternoon. So between the fog and the wind, I'm going to try to hook up to a few fish. I'm going to be targeting some reds, flounder, and speckled trout. Uh, my friend Eric should be joining me. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to hit him up and wake him up here, here in just in a second. But you know what? I love being first on the water i love being there pre-sunrise to get that sunrise bite make sure i'm at the right location when that sun starts just coming up although today i don't think i'm gonna have much of a sunrise with all this fog but hey if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel don't know why you haven't go to hit that sub button like the video leave a comment and share and we're gonna get going i'm excited about today i got a short window to fish because my son has football practice, so I'm going to try to be in and out as fast as I can so I can get back to the house, do all that cleanup stuff. But yeah, let's get going. Not much going on a lot of bait in the water you know water visibility is okay it doesn't look like it's too bad um i was kind of worried about it because yesterday we did have some strong winds so i don't know how uh how stirred up the water was gonna be but it doesn't look too bad um just you know this overcast day really not casting cast uh casting much of light on the water so that does damper down on some visibility seen seen bait, bait as far as mullets go but not seen really much else uh, eric's had a few hits i had a couple little bumps but really not too too much kind of fishing the flats right here trying to see if there's anybody laying in wait in these flats and been feeding some snot grass you know it's kind of challenging throwing these this tandem but I'm thinking with the lack of visibility with the fog, I would start the day off throwing gulp just for the simple fact, trying to get them on the, uh, get them on the scent. Also have a chatter weight and that chatter weight also offers some sound. So where the visibility might be compromised, I'm trying to get them on the scent and sound. So just straight retrieving, popping it on bottom, bouncing it on bottom, straight retrieving, giving a little pop and hoping I can entice a bite. But it's kind of slow so far. Eric had a nice red on early on, like one of his first casts this morning, but that was it. So it uh, came off, he didn't have his dry tighten up. So he's over here fishing a little bit of a boat cut and I uh, opted to come over here and see what's going on in these flats. Fish. <sighs> That's a nice flounder. Woo! Just switched up to run over the all oh, running over all these oysters over here. I'm like on a whole bunch of oyster. 
Dang it. I'm trying to get out of here and my rudder sound like it's sound like I'm hung up. Let me get this up. Uh, uh. I'm like on some oyster. Whew. Like on an oyster minefield. Dang it. No rudder. <laughs> I'm like trying to steer I'm trying to steer it still with my hand and there's no rudder all right let's get this guy let's see if yeah got off that oyster I ran into a little patch of oyster over there and I was like all on it and then all of a sudden the there it goes all of a sudden my my lure got heavy and I wasn't I knew it, it kind of felt like a fish. You start swimming with it. I just put this on too. I just started casting with it. It's a um, voodoo shad. First time I ever used it. It's almost a little tra very translucent. So I thought perhaps it was a uh, perhaps it's a little too a little too dark. Not going to show up as clear or as visible to the fish has maybe a darker lure but i already had it tied on so i said well let me cast it and that was literally like i think like my first cast started running the oyster and i see a little bit of bait so i'm like all right so there's bait here there's oyster here i would think there has to be like a fish like maybe a red and uh we got this flatty here he goes nice little guy probably be undersized if we can he just, he just nailed it. He just nailed it. Let's get him. I didn't even put any scent on it. I thought I'd say, you know what? I didn't even put any scent on it. And bam. There we go. There it is right here. Nice. That's a nice color to it. Nice shad. The voodoo shad. Yeah, he is almost 17. So he's almost 17 inches. Nice guy. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna... I do have a stringer with me. I don't have a... Uh... Seventeen incher. Look at that. Spring run. Is it back? Are they coming? Are they on their way? Maybe. I just got a whiff of something. Smelled a little, a little, almost like gamey, but like fish game. Almost like a red. It might be that post right there, because I am kind of down one from that post. But I do smell a little something over here. A lot of times I will smell the fish before I see them and before I hear them. You know, reds kind of have like that fishy, gamey, almost bait, baitish, like, and that's that's what it might be right here. I might smell this oyster. I just got on, a, I just got hung up on an oyster. I didn't realize there was an oyster reef over here. That might be what I smelled was an oyster. It's funny. It's so funny. If you spend enough time on the water. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can smell them. And I don't mean just smelling trout. Like trout smell like watermelon. I mean smelling like really smelling the fish. Yeah. I mean you can smell. You can. You know we use all our senses out here. You really do. And that might have been. What I smelled was that. The wind coming this way. And I might have smelled the. Uh, that reef. Because the water level is low. You can see kind of how low it is on that post right there. I thought maybe it might have been that post that I smelled, but but it's all good, you know. I mean, there's a reef right here. There should be fish around it. You know, that's a good possibility of being fish around it. Unfortunately, I got hung up in the reef, so I pulled up right upon it. So if there was a fish at that little spot, then probably would have scared them with my kayak. God, get out of here, mosquito. Mosquitoes are so bad. So tired of them. The mosquitoes and the snot grass. Y'all driving me nuts. <laughs> Yeah, go maybe go crazy. I don't know what happened to Eric. Eric disappeared. 
he was in a he was hanging on that on that um by the houses he wanted to fish the little little cuts and uh i wanted to come out and like i said you know my first place i started fishing was these flats so i kind of wanted to come out and fart around these flats a little bit and he uh he disappeared i hope he got on them I hope something didn't happen let's see hopefully there's another fish hanging out this oysters 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 I can hear these mosquitoes by my head. Dang skaters. Where are you fishing? One of y'all gotta be out here. Fog is lifted. Oh, there's a bite right there. There we go. Told you I smelled a fish. Told you I smelled a fish. Ah, I feel like a little speck. Yeah, he's a small one. But I know I smelled ya guys. I knew I smelled ya. Uh, didn't really need an edum, but I just wanted to secure them so I could show them. Uh, they want them coming off. But I knew I smelled ya guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just a little baby. Just a little baby, but thank you for playing. Oh, he is gone. <laughs> I told you I smelled them. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I smelled them. Thank you. I'm really liking this lure right here. This is voodoo, man. If you don't know, gosh, if you don't fish with voodoo, come on, man. Ah, you don't fish with the Ingram baits, baby. You need a, you need a voodoo. You need a voodoo. Yeah. So I came back over here. It's a little. It's a deep lake over here. Pitch around some of these houses. Fish some of the open lake area. Fish on bottom kind of fish on top and and really just trying to look and see if we could find like a little school of specs uh this spot's you know it's decent you know you do have times where you can come through here and, and run to a, a school or two with some speckle trout but it's nothing really going on over here today and uh kind of echoing the, the same kind of deal that i've been seeing this uh this morning so far it's just just a slow bite you know i mean that's a good time when you slow down and and slow your bite you retrieve down a lot and and just really slow things down but you know i was swimming around there fishing around with the uh, tandem gulp and and no action just put this voodoo shad on and has some nice color to it water visibility is great back here water temp is wonderful there's no reason why there shouldn't be some fish back in here but they're they're not here or at least i can't find them they could be pushed in in one of these uh one of these canals one of these channels around the houses but or they could have gotten pushed off with the low tide early morning. I think we had low tide like around four. But um, yeah, just really not too much going on. So I think we're gonna leave this area and go back into the flats and, and see with the sun out a little bit, maybe we can be able to see and, and sight cast a couple more fish. And uh, you know, go for that red. Kind of what I was hoping for today was get a nice red, you know, something, something hard and something strong pulling get some nice action going so i'm gonna head out and uh see what we can get into joking around to, to to get something to bite because we haven't really had much luck at all today just real slow day and not really much of a bite some bait in the water some all in the water but just not a whole lot of a lot of predator fish activity so the water clarity is great though i mean west bay is on point today it looks awesome nice beautiful green water so the visibility is is there just not the bite and you know you have those dates you know you have those kind of dates where it's just real slow there's a little bit of an oyster reef right there it's where i kind of area i caught that that little speck this morning came across it you can see it much more defiant now you can really see where that reef's at now this morning when i came through it was real overcast so you couldn't see much but just kind of fish around the reef a little bit and we'll catch a fish hanging out around the reef kind of playing Russian roulette just a tad real close to the reef and then stuck <laughs> real close to the reef and then just kind of pull away from it 
gonna get a cast right here by this post and come along the side of this post right here kind of drifting a little fast a little bit of yeah, there's that reef a little bit of structure oh there we go that's what I was hoping for nice red right off that reef he might not keep oh he came all the way out the water oh, come on come on I'm like stuck in the reef I don't want him to break me off the line's kind of wrapped around him a little bit oh, yeah. that's what I was hoping for right off that reef I mean it's not even a reef it's just like a structure there but right off that reef I'm telling you fish he's a little undersized probably like 19 inches but it's perfect 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 yes 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 <laughs> it's good when it makes you look like you know what you're doing <laughs> all right i know what i wanted to see let's see you know hopefully he's gonna be slot but i really don't think so it's probably close to 19 maybe 18 it might even be as small as 17 but again on that booty shad yeah he's small he'd probably be 17 he is very feisty though very feisty oh gosh lee goodness oh look at that he just missed 20 he just missed 20 he just missed 20 by a pinch of the tail just missed 20 inches Well, you know, that is going to do it for me. You know, I try to hang out as long as I could, kind of make it a short day. I really wanted to come out and just explore the area a little bit. I haven't fished out here in, in a long time. Uh, I just got some new, a new Voodoo Shad, so I wanted to try and test the, the Shad out, the new color. And, um, and I wasn't disappointed. I mean, it caught a few fish. Kind of a slow day, bit of a grind. I lost Eric. Eric was... Eric said the fish aren't biting. I had enough and he kind of left me a little bit. But hey, it's all good, Eric. I appreciate you, brother. Thanks for coming out. It was great fishing and seeing Eric. I haven't fished him in a long, long time. So it was great to see Eric. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna call it. I'm going to start heading back in. The wind kicked up just a little bit. It's supposed to kick up around 17 miles an hour, which isn't too bad. It's a little uncomfortable, but it's not life-threatening or anything. But uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for checking out the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel and you're new, well then hit, hit subscribe button and push that bell notification. It will let you know the next time I upload a video. If you're interested in being a Patreon, there's a link for that. If you want to see up-to-date fishing reports, so when I get back home, if not tonight, then probably in the morning, I'll toss a fishing report up for my Patreons. I also do fishing forecasts every week, and I do. A, I have a lot of interaction, or as much interaction as as I can with my Patreons. I'll do open invites and, and, and things of that nature. Although I haven't done an open invite in a while, uh, since the flounder season, the water's starting to warm back up. So as the surf kind of flattens out and start warm, warm up a little bit i'll probably be tossing more open invites so my patrons come can come out and fish with me i just have a lot of fun it's just it's just a great time to be out there on the water with guys and girls but thanks again for tuning in and uh, hopefully next time you catch me hooking up thanks